Buzz. Hey guys, what's up? It's Ricky and whoa, what? Oh my gosh, it's not Sunday. Ricky, why are you uploading a video? Uh, whoa. To answer that question that some of you may be having, if you did not know, I have made the decision to do two videos a week now. Basically, after doing my collab month, which I uploaded every single day, it felt really weird to only upload one video a week, so I decided to do two a week now. So basically what I'm gonna do is on, on Sundays, I'm still gonna upload on Sunday, and on Sundays I'm gonna upload my videos that are more higher quality and more like thought out and harder to make, such as like comedy sketches, music videos, public videos, cooking videos even, basically basically any kind of video that isn't like this, where I'm just talking to you guys, that takes more time to make. And then on Thursday, I'm gonna make videos like this, where I sit here and talk to you guys, so Ask Ricky's, tags, easy collabs with friends, topics I wanna talk about, rants, that kind of stuff. The, the videos that are more personable, like me talking to you will be on Thursday. So yeah, I'm gonna kick off my first Thursday video with the emoji tag challenge that Troy Sivan created. I waited around and I looked around and watched all my friends' videos that made it and I was waiting for someone to tag me. Just waiting. And I'm still waiting because no one's tagged me to do it yet. Thanks everyone out there. So I tagged myself to do the emoji challenge tag thing. I am in a hotel room right now as you can see. I am actually in New York, and in a couple of hours, I'm going to be interviewing Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper. I'm still shocked that I'm doing it, and it's literally happening in a few hours. I'm freaking out. But that, that's actually going to be for a video for my channel, and it'll, it'll be up this Sunday, so look forward to that. So the first emoji that I picked was the guy flexing his arm. Not, not in a way that I think I am this buff guy, but I really, really am passionate about, like actually passionate about health and fitness, you know, I, I like, I love to like research it and like find new workouts to do and I love to figure out what is good for my body to, to eat and what's not good to eat. In hindsight, if I wasn't like doing this as a career or anything else involved in like entertainment, I think it would be really cool to be like a personal trainer. So it's really fascinating to me. Plus, girl, you can come to the gun show if you want, right? There is the emoji, and working out makes me feel so good. Whenever I'm, I'm like stressed out, whenever I'm upset about something, or if I, if I even even if I need to like brainstorm stuff, working out the place for me to go. It helps me like relieve stress and clear my mind. And when I'm done working out, I'm in the best mood. I feel great. Um, I love like the energy I get just for myself. It makes me feel so good. The next emoji is the B emoji because. I consider myself a very busy bee, you know the term like, I'm a busy bee. I am always busy, I rarely have free time, um, which is good, I enjoy being busy. When I'm actually not busy, if I go a few days with no, with no plans, it drives me insane. I feel like I'm just wasting my life away. So I'm very busy and I love being busy, I love being productive and doing stuff for you guys. So I'm a little bee, I'm a busy bee. The next emoji is the ghost emoji. Not because I'm scary. I mean, maybe I'm scary to some of you, I hope not. But when I see this ghost emoji, I don't think I'm scary. I think of like silly and goofy and like he likes to make people laugh. Like this little guy can make people laugh, I feel like. And I love being silly and goofy and making people laugh. That's what I love, I love to do the most. So I just see myself as this goofy little ghost. The next emoji is the trumpet. I had a hard time deciding which one to represent this scenario because for this emoji, I wanted to represent my love and passion for music. My entire life, I've been around music. Um, I remember like way back in like elementary school, we would have like music class and it was my favorite part of the week. I was obsessed with it. And then when I was 11, I started playing the trumpet and I played for 10 years consistently. I was in marching band, symphonic band, jazz band. I mean, it was my life. And I loved, loved performing, I loved practicing trumpet, loved getting better, I loved everything about it. Um, and then I had to unfortunately quit to pursue YouTube full time. Um, but now I sing, I make my own music and I love that too. I am obsessed with performing, it's so much fun, the energy I get. So I was looking through all the music emojis and I was trying to figure out which one, which one represents me the most. And I went with the trumpet because it was such a big part of my life. I mean, it was 10 years. I think playing trumpet made me realize how much I loved performing and making music. 
So I feel like it's the thing that set off my passion for music the most. So that's why I chose the trumpet. Speaking of the trumpet, I mentioned this a long time ago, and I get, actually get requests for it to make a video of me like covering a pop song on the trumpet. Would that be cool? Would you guys want me to do that? I haven't played in a while, but it'd be kind of interesting to whip out my trumpet for a video. Comment below or thumbs up this video if I should do that. The next emoji I chose is the like finish line flag emoji. I chose that because it reminds me of like hitting a goal. I always have, I, I'm always setting goals for myself that I want to work hard for to achieve. I go through life so well when I have like a goal in mind or several goals in mind that I want to hit. It makes me work harder, it makes me strive to get those goals. So I just always have several goals in mind and this flag I think represents that the most. I don't know. What are your goals? I know the tag says to do five, but I cheated. I'm doing a little bit more because it was hard to narrow it down. But my last emoji I picked is the anchor. No matter what happens in my life, no matter how successful or unsuccessful I get with whatever I do, it is very important to me that I stay grounded and I always stay true to myself. And I'm very fortunate enough to have people in my life and supporters like you in my life to keep me grounded. My parents, my family, my friends, and literally you guys all keep me so grounded. Like I never want to become somebody I'm not. I never want to be like big headed or cocky or rude or mean or just not me. You know, I always want to stay nice, little old Ricky. And I feel like everybody in my life literally anchors me down and grounds me to stay true to myself. So those are all the emojis that represent me, but I have one more that I want to like segue into a cool announcement. So the fire emoji. I chose that because I want to tell you guys about a cool project I recently did. I got made over into the Monster High character, Heath Burns! Woo! So I got the awesome chance and opportunity to be invited by Monster High to be a part of a live action music video as Heath Burns, the character from Monster High. Monster High is all about celebrating your inner freaky flaw and celebrating you. It was really cool and fun to do and the super talented Megan Nicole sang the, the song. And there were other awesome YouTubers in the video with me such as Andrea Russet, Charisma Star, and Miranda Abanez. If I pronounce that wrong, Miranda girl, forgive me. So make sure you click here or link below to go watch the music video. I am working it, I am all fired up. I'm, I have my yellow skin, I have orange hair, <laughs> the opposite of this. So after you watch the video, let me know which Monster High character is your favorite. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And I want you guys to comment below five emojis that describe your life. And also, tweet this video with your five emojis. You don't have to describe them, just tweet your five emojis with the video link and a screenshot showing that you gave this video a thumbs up and I'll do a big following and DMing spree. I will see you guys Sunday and then again next Thursday. Don't forget, mark your calendars. But I love you guys so much. Have a lovely day and I will see you Sunday with Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper. Okay, guys, see ya later.